Okay guys, welcome Cool Wheel owners and Cool Wheel potential owners. You're obviously tuned in because you wanna see how the thing is holding out after some four and a half, five months. Look, um, so far so good, that's all I can say. No problems, uh, nothing of any issue. Um, I will say I've heard a lot of reports online about people having problems with disconnection issues, people having problems with um, uh, yeah, wheels uh, blowing and wearing out and motors going. Um, I've heard stories about what else was there, overheating or something, disconnection issues on the battery. Um, look, um, this is the D3M, the, new, the second version. And if you've bought a cool wheel skateboard probably in the last six to eight months um, from the date of this this youtube uh, vlog you will have the dc the d3m so that will be uh the one you've got which is the current version there's no antenna coming out the back here there's uh, the antennas in the deck machined under the grip tape there's no connection issues there's an upgraded chip on the controller um so yeah there's just nothing to to, to worry about um I'll take you downstairs and I'll show you a couple of quick hacks you got to do with in terms of the battery pack, uh, padding it, um, and also to check the nuts and bolts don't move. There's another little hack. So let's go downstairs and I'll quickly take you through that. Hey guys, just updating you with the cool wheel. Eh, eh. Um, had the board now for about four months and um, I've done about 200 kilometers, probably 140 miles on it. Um, so far absolutely incredible not a fault with it so um the wheels are not loose there uh not loose here the actual bearing wheels are not one bit loose and this side not one bit loose now if you listen to the microphone you'll hear uh the quality of the sound of the wheel when i spin it other one okay so um yeah just incredible nothing loose in here nothing moving uh the battery pack's great no no screws loose um so in, all in all so far um the cool wheel is yeah surpassed all my expectations in terms of quality build and um i've heard a lot of reports out there these things are playing up with people but look if you get it from the factory from the proper cool wheel company from china alibaba the uh wow whatever shenzhen wow or uh technology Tuan company that manufacture these um you'll have no problems at all i can't guarantee anything else from anywhere else uh just go directly to the manufacturer in the factory nothing's loose on these the wheels have hardly worn down at all um Okay, but one little thing I will say, uh, the battery pack on it does move. Watch, listen, close up. There's a movement just in here. So um, look, even though they're screwed down at the other end, if you look closely when I move that, there's still movement. At this end, it has to move on that connector. So a way to do this is get yourself some uh, foam rubber from a hardware store or Clark Rubber in Australia. It's about that thick. But it's very soft. If I can just get us focus on this. Um, there we go. Very soft. It compresses quite quite easily. Um, and by doing that, uh, that, com that soft foam, um, self-adhesive, I tried putting it along the battery pack along here, along the back, I tried putting it on the end of the battery itself, but it, it sits off too high. Now I know this board, as you sit on it, it flexes, therefore the battery pack comes up. But if you look the gap between there, it's, there's a decent little tiny gap, maybe uh, two mil, um, maybe three mil 
Now that gap, the more you stand on the board, it uh, takes the battery off even more. There's felt under here, as you probably know, under the battery pack. So um, I tried putting in this rubber here. I tried putting a strip at the end of the battery. It didn't work. It's just it bent it too much up, and I think there was too much vibrations on the battery all the time. The way to do this, cut yourself a small piece like this, a little piece of V like that, um, just like that there. Um, and then come down here, slide your battery um, out and just use one finger from the bottom of the, of the um, barcode, one finger thickness and about end ends here. So if you just put that bit of sticky, I'll come around here better and show you and just stick it on there like that, right? And you, it's self adhesive, this stuff, you push it on, it's quite hard. When you slide the battery pack in, it gets caught in wedged in there. This still clicks in to its battery compartment. There you go, click. Uh, and this is now buried deep into here. And guess what? No movement. And you've still got the gap between the bottom there, exactly the same factory set gap. It just stops the, that moving of the battery all the time. And any movement that way, could put pressure on those connectors. Even they've got two screws here, like I said, it's still gonna move. So that's a little hack. All you need is a piece of this uh, self-adhesive peel-off um, foam about that thick. You can just see the letter of the cool wheel. I'll just give you an idea with the K, that's a thickness. So it's a little bit skinnier than the K. Um, and yeah, just put a little wedge in there. As you can see, it's just sitting nicely in there you can get i can get it better than that more deeper in that's because this is rubber on the end you want to get it in on the bracket part but that will stop that from moving and that could be one of the issues we're having with um the battery moving a connector but um that's all you need to do to it really um the bearings as you can see are the high quality rubber bearings they're red if i can just get a side on angle of this if i can lift it up and they're really good bearings, okay? So um, these bearings are uh, grease filled, um, I'm pretty sure. Uh, rubber seal grease filled, which means they're waterproof, uh, dust proof, whatever. You don't have to change the bearings on these cool wheels, they're good enough. Um, they really are. Um, so, yeah. Three, four month update, guys. Um, I know I look like I'm a bit of an over obsessive, you know, salesman selling these things. I'm not. All I am is a guy that just loves his product. And being the second skateboard, electric skateboard I've reviewed, it's come up as being in the nines out of tens. And as long as you look after it and ride it properly and uh, don't go over gutters and don't go over cobblestones and don't take huge hills every day and you ride on smooth surfaces and don't hammer the, you know, the hyperdrive switch too much. Um, I think you'll find these things will last years and years and years maintenance free. They're certainly my go-to reliable electric skateboard at the moment. I'm reviewing the Onan as you guys know and, and probably hanging out on my review coming. It's on its way but um, yeah rubber in the side there stop that movement. Um, one more little quick hack um, every single nut on this um, I would get a little um, uh, white marker pen from a uh, hardware store uh, like a um, um, it's called a um, I forget the name of it now um, uh, scribe a pen in white and just make a little mark there and paint um, just from the nut down to the washer and then do the same thing here from the side of the tr the, the bearing mounting to the the track the truck hanger uh, also do it on these uh, little tiny bit of white line here uh, sharpie pen that's what they call sorry white sharpie um, paint pen little fine line just a line from the nut down to the bottom of the steel and then on that one there that kingpin is kingpin as well um, now the reason you do that is if there's any movement in the nuts, they're gonna show that line move. And without having to know, uh, by tightening it and cracking the, the Loctite, you really won't know whether that nut's moved. And this, you know, kingpin's uh, moved. Um, whether the, uh, the, the the two here on the, um, the VESC controller also needs to be marked in case they come loose. These ones here are spring-loaded, so 
they um, they will always rattle a bit, and there's nothing you can do about that. Um, but they don't need they don't need to be touched. Um, and you could probably make a line on this across here to the to the bearing itself, and see if this nut comes loose as well, because or screw, because that is um, something you don't want to crack the Loctite off and then have to re-Loctite it. Okay, okay guys, and one more thing, uh, this little rubber protector that protects these two screws that holds a battery in, it doesn't go the other way. I've seen people face the other way. Of course it goes this way, so any stone chips don't hammer those screws okay it should wedge in nice and tight and i've ridden mine for probably you know like i said 100 kilometers has never fallen off but a little uh, another little point a little hack is get a piece of this foam cut a piece about that wide um like that and then just place that double-sided tape which comes comes with it across that there i'll cut it to trim properly um but that being stuck on there after after the event will keep this from coming off and you're losing this so that little bit double-sided you know curved around there will look good um, and it will just it sticks really good to this double-sided tape sticks really good to metal so it'll just hold that in from coming off so another little okay one. as you can see it's on now I've just put it on um, it just sits there beautifully. There's no way that's going to come off. There's no way to get this off. You've really got to peel that like that. It's quite tough. Um, that was the best um, hack for this particular problem. I thought of putting Velcro on it and a touch of silicon on both sides. But this this is a beautiful idea because you just peel this off and you can reuse it. it goes back down again. As you can see, it goes back down. See, so. You can just reuse that each time you take this off to change the battery for whatever for whatever reason you want to change the battery which only would be to travel or put another battery in really um, but that can stay on permanently if that's the case there you go Sorry.